wonder how effective those swings off the tee or soft toss hacks or throws off the mound inside are. The Bomb Squad has a high-tech way to hone the swing or pitching motion to perfection. Lead hitting instructor Steve Brightback and pitching coach Mark Cahill can use high-tech analysis. Take a look at his video, slow motion, frame by frame. Work out there, come in here, we break it down on slow motion. We can use the different tools on the system. Ben's doing a great job here. He's in a good athletic position with his hands back when his front foot's hitting the ground. Then we can also compare it to major league swings to see what they're doing different from major league players. You know, to better mimic the, the pro players. Once they take their step or their stride, whether it's a little stride or a huge leg kick, once they get to that toe touch position, most of them are almost identical, you know, from that point to contact. Ever thought you'd be compared to Miguel Cabrera? No. <laughs> Miguel Cabrera and Ben got them compared. After they take their stride to toe touch position, you can see a lot of things are, are looking very similar here. They're both in a good athletic position. Heads midline of their body, hands are back. We got the bat angles. Here you can see he's got about a 50 degree angle. And Ben's about a 45, 44 and a half. So the first thing we have is heel drop, and then the hips start to swing. Right here, still looking pretty good. We see here a little bit how Ben's getting his front knee over his front foot. Miguel Cabrera is still keeping that front knee behind the front foot. Probably just a little bit of weight, maybe he's staying back early in his swing, and now it's, it wants to come forward, so he's getting that knee over his front foot. But once you get ready to hit toe touch throughout your swing, you want to keep your, your knees between your feet. So that's something we can work on. The hands seem to be working, you know, in about the same, same way at this point. So still very good. The hands and the bat are pretty much in the same location for both hitters, but Miguel Cabrera's foot all the way through. His backside's all the way through before that bat even comes out. That's how you can tell if a hitter's doing a good job using his body and staying connected and using his, his hips and his core to help him swing the bat. You know, we're here, Ben's just letting his hands take over just a little bit too early, so that's why his backside is kind of lagging behind. As the instructor, it's, it's your job to, to compare the swings and look at them and, and uh, see the difference. I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty easy when you can look you know, you can break the swings down and stop them at exactly the same points and say, all right, where do you look different, you know, from this guy? And, and you can see where, where we need to work. It helps a lot, mm -hmm. like, to see if your hips get through, or if your hands take over. I mean, this stuff happens very quick. And sometimes you think you might see something, and then you get a chance to see it on video, and maybe they're doing that part right, and it's something else that's going a little bit wrong. But I think it's also huge for the player to kind of see, all right, this is where I'm at, because it's kind of the same thing. It feels like you're doing things the right way, but when you get a chance to see it really broken down on slow motion video and compare it to pro players, you can kind of see, all right, this is where I, this is what I need to work on. For Ben, the biggest thing that, you know, from looking at this video and comparing it, is gonna be working on his connection and just getting everything working together. Getting his body working with his hands to help him swing the bat through the zone the most efficient way and sometimes it's important and effective to compare the kid to the kid. One of the features of side-by-side -side analysis, which I really like, is that you can take a player, whether it's a hitter, infielder, pitcher, at an earlier point during the season, for example, I took a video of John right here of, in the spring of this year. As we looked at it the other day, it was pretty much probably the same, exactly the same. I mean, there's really not a lot of difference in what he's doing. So sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes that could be a bad thing. Video yourself, upload the videos yourself and look at yourself pretty much all the time and see where you're at during the course of a season at any given time, how they're progressing. Especially with the older guys, when they, they start going wrong and you, you look at the guys in the big leagues, that's why they have coaches, they can say, oh, you're getting a little bit out of line, you're dropping your hands in. They have the videotapes right there, they get out of the cage, hey, let's take a look at it and they'll use prior videos to help these guys work on their swing or their pitches or whatever they're doing. So it's, it's a great teaching tool. So every guy's different, but what you're looking for is consistency. You want to see from game to game, are they maintaining their arm slot? Because that's where they throw their best pitches from. Sit down with my dad at the computer and, hey dad, let's look at my video today. You know, let's, 
Oh, let's look at the game we played today. Look at the, the bats you videotaped of me or the pitches I threw or whatever you're doing. Uh, to me, it's a great teaching tool. And I know that the feedback that I get from the parents, uh, they like it too because they, if they didn't play, but they can see the difference and they can uh, convey that. So not every guy's gonna be the same, you know, just like hitters. They start with the hands in different positions, but the bottom line is when they go to the ball, it's pretty much you wanna create that straight line to the ball. And that's what you're trying to teach the kids. For more information on this great teaching tool, skillu.com, email Steve at sbrightback at bombsquadri.com or mark at mark.cahill at bombsquadri.com or call the Bomb Squad at 401-284-0411. Better yet, stop in at 1174 Kingstown Road in Wakefield and get a first-hand taste of what the Bomb Squad has to offer you and your baseball future.